Good morning. Thank you for joining us today on Think Indigenous Online Lessons. I am redoing my lesson, which was the Cree Prayer and uh, Medicine Wheel teachings. Um, so usually when I'm doing our prayer or um, I smudge with the four, three sacred mess, uh, smudges, uh, sweetgrass, sage, and cedar. Um, and I have tobacco there and I have my mushroom rock and this is fungus, willow fungus. Um, I showed it the other day but um, I was on my Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is like, it's not that great. So now I'm on my mo mobile data and it's much better and I'm not holding um, the phone and making movements and stuff so lessons learned um it's my, it was my first time so let's get at her okay so i just want to um thank you for um tuning in and i see four people but i don't see who how do you do that i don't know uh anyway um oh seven wow okay keep coming all right so We'll start with the Cree prayer because in school uh, we always do the Cree prayer. Um, okay, I guess I should introduce myself. Um, Cheyenne Fine Blanket Nasiga Sun Makwa Sagagan Utsunia. I teach at the Makwa Sagagan First Nation School as a literacy catalyst for middle years. And. Um, I wanted to get that thinking to turn this symbol there off. That's on my fridge. Anyway, um, I I do the middle years uh, li literacy, and we just basically do the LLI program, level inter level literacy intervention. And I um, uh, when we were in school, we were doing march into wellness as our theme. And I sent um, teachers you, a whole unit on balancing your medicine wheel because um, kids need a lot of visuals. Like um, I, I too need a lot of visuals where we learn by seeing, hearing, and doing. So, and then because we're kinesthetic learners, most of us. Um, so I. I compiled a package that I had used with my alt class and um, when I taught alt, alternate ed, high school alternate ed, and for a couple years prior to my literacy position. And I just thought that um, we, we were dealing with a lot of grief, um, um, a lot of uh, our community was in a state of emergency. Um, we had crisis teams from Health Canada, mental therapists on site at the school. Uh, kids were, um, the kids were really sad and depressed and um, just, you know, being on the reserve and just not ha ha being in poverty most of the time. There's only a few jobs available. So not everybody had a job and it's just, we need to concentrate on their self care because I just feel like um, I had to um, try to do my part, even though I was suffering from depression and, and grief. Um, and like, it's in our environment, right? You do what you see. So I didn't want to cope in those ways. I wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, cope in healthy, positive ways that's going to um, help me. So I went back to the medicine wheel teachings, and I thought that um, we need we need the kids to start doing these uh, wellness plans uh, for themselves. <clears throat> we didn't get really get a chance because of all this. COVID-19 um, 
pandemic and um, now maybe they ha they will have time to do it from home. So parents, I encourage you to provide the opportunity for them to do their wellness plan by using a medicine wheel. Um, and it helped me uh, when I, well, well, I'm still on my healing journey, but I, I reflect on it a lot and I, it keeps me motivated. Sometimes I don't have that motivation and sometimes nobody's around or I just can't trust because I've been, you know, I'm a product of residential school and um, we don't talk, we don't feel, we don't trust and that inhibits us from really getting proper healing. So like vision boards, vision boards really work. So like people do them when they're young. They, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you, what are you interested in? What are your skills? Everybody has their own gift. You just got to dig deep and look for it. Okay. So anyway, we'll do the Cree prayer because that's what we do in school every day. And I won't go over everything because I respect our um, our elders teachings not to video and not to take pictures of our sacred medicines um, I just I was just doing I did it the last time but I kind of forgot my my that the elders teachings right so I just want to ex respect my elders teachings and not show smudging and on on video okay or take pictures it's just something the elders told me that um, we shouldn't do anyway so you guys ready to do the Cree prayer all right give me a wave dance it's so good to be indigenous today I'm just gonna get you indigenized all right so We'll do the Cree prayer. I want you to repeat after me. So I'm going to pause after each phrase. Okay? Nanaskamun. I can't hear you. I'll say it again. Nanaskamun. The Cree, little Cree tip. The words that go into SRO are kind of long and hard. So if you break it down into syllables, na na sta mun, it's much easier to um, to say. Okay, so na na sta mun, which means thank you. You always say thank you first. Okay. No tawi na. Kisamane tu. Witi na. Mi na. Kenei manan. Anuch. Kagi saga. Nian nan. Keto asim sak. Na pe wak. Na pe sasak. Eskwe wak. Eskwe sasak. Egwa. Kaki o. Guta kak. Asino wak. Uta. Aski. Hai hai. Thank you. Okay. Can we do it again? Can you say it loud and proud? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's try it again. No dawi nan, ki samanatu, witsi nan mi na. Kane manan, anuch, kagi sagak. Nyan nan, ketwa sak. Na pe wak, na pe sak. Eskwe wak. Esquesa sak, ekwa, kakio, guta kak, asina wak, uta, aski, hai hai. Thank you, that was really good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our lesson now, medicine wheel teachings, because um, I only have like 30 minutes and that's a lot to do in 30 minutes. Okay, so behind me is uh, the medicine wheel and last day I went over um, late Simon Kaipuhat he was a, a elder or Kitea from Makosagagan and he said the four rate the four colors represented the four races uh, white 
native Asian black. So that is what he said in um in a he was on a I found him on a virtual virtual online thing anyway and I just thought oh that that hits home so those colors re represent his teachings there's other colors like there, there's not one set way okay there's over there's so many different kinds of um, tribes and <clears throat> uh, First Nations groups that uh, there's many different okay so like down south they do the whole rocks they put the medicine wheels in rocks and there's there's actual medicine wheel ceremonies and uh, to the east they have similar concepts um, different colors um, and then Blackfoot and they are they're all trying to follow this guide Okay, so like, like I said, the, the sacred medicines are, represent the directions and um, the sacred medicines are sweet grass, cedar, sage, and tobacco. Okay, so those four sacred medicines combined, um, everything like for the Nihiwak, the Nihios, us, Cree, we um, go by the four part being because that's where our that's what our creed means. It means a four part being. So <clears throat> um, we just wanted to. Um, I just wanted to show you a visual. And <laughs> the last day I did show a visual, but I didn't know it was so distorted or whatever because I was just I don't know panicking, nervous. <laughs> was my first time anyway <clears throat> the um, the medicine wheel I'm just gonna read from this okay so the Native American concept of the medicine wheel symbolically represents a non-linear circular model of human development each compass direction on the wheel offers lessons and gifts that support the development of balanced individual. So I just want. So when I um, I show this visual in class, I bring my arms out like this, and I say, if you work too much and don't play enough, like your arms are unbalanced. You're unbalanced. Okay. So you really have to try to look, try to create balance for yourself. Okay. So this is supposed to be for like I think grade six. So, but you can do this for across the board, grade six to nine. I would our high school six to twelve. Um, you could even do it earlier by just doing the model right there with the younger grades. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> this idea is to remain balanced at the center of the wheel. So the center of the wheel is you and Notawinan, Creator, God, whatever, whatever religious belief you believe in, because. In Canada, we have the freedom to believe whatever we want to believe. I have a mixture, okay? I grew up Christian, studying verses. I know cre um, Christian prayers, and I still say them because they do help me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the idea is to remain balanced in the center, right? While developing equality, equally. So you got to try to balance equally each quadrant. The physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects of one's personality. Everybody has their own personality. I can't go and go into um, Peggy's personality and be like, "Oh, I'm Peggy today." No, you uh, have to have your own personality, right? Okay. The concept of the medicine wheel varies among Native peoples. Different groups attribute different gifts to positions on the wheel, but the following offers a generalized overview of some of the lessons and the gifts connected with the development process. Can you hear me all right? Can you give me like a thumbs up, a like, or something to show me that you can, or comment? Somebody? Anybody? Okay, no. Can you hear me? Hello? 
Can you hear me? Oh my goodness, I didn't have my volume on. I hope you heard me. Did you hear me? Okay. I'm not really, really technical with the thing. But anyway, if you're just tuning in now because I just realized the volume was off. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So anyway, balancing your medicine, medicine wheel uh, is balancing each quadrant physically, your body, mentally, your mind, emotionally, your feelings, and spiritually, your connection. Okay, so your connection with Creator, Notawinan, Kisamanatu, any, it could be anybody, right? So can you hear me now? Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> so we have some lessons from, we always start from the east because, you know, Beyonce to the left, to the left. Just kidding. No, um, because w the sun rises from the east and the sun sets to the west. So you begin your day to the east and you pray to the east. Well, I do. Anybody, right? And our smudging, our ceremonies, were usually, our doors are to the east. Um, or something like that. Anyway, don't touch your face. Sorry. I just touched my face. Um, <clears throat> okay, so lessons and gifts from the east. The place of first light, spring and birth. So upon conception is um, infancy. Okay, so this is the, this, and this is the, what, what they say the quadrants that's closest to you know, to this to the spirits okay it's we get the warmth of the spirit from there purity trust and hope unconditional love babies always need that love carry carry me hug me kiss me they need that love okay courage truthfulness Guidance, guidance and leadership, capacity to remain in the present moment. The teachings from the South, the South, and I'll say again, we, I went by these colors because of late Simon Kaitu Hat uh, said that this is the, the, the cycle of the brotherhood of man, the white, the black, the Asian, the Nihiwak, okay? So the earth indigenous people okay so these four um, main types of brotherhood of man is like um, that we're all human okay and that we should value each other and and be um, respectful towards each other okay so it was kind of like a racist a racism uh, concept that he was bringing out and I go I went by his colors that he said um, anyway south so I think we missed out on the Cree prayer. I'm not too sure, but I can do it at the end if I have time. Okay, so the South, um, the South is the place of summer and youth, including generosity, sensitivity, and loyalty, romantic love, testing of the physical body, self, and control, gifts of music and art, capacity to express feelings openly, in ways respectful to others. To the west is um, the place of summer and, or no, the place of autumn and adulthood, where dreams, prayers, meditation, perseverance when challenged, balance when compassionate loyalty and spiritual insight, use of personal objects, sacred objects, understanding the life's meaning, fasting, ceremony, self-knowledge and vision. The, the lessons of the north is the place of winter and elders include intellectual wisdom, ability to complete tasks that began as a vision, detachment from hate, jealousy, desire, anger, and fear, ability to see the past, present, and future as related. And this source is from the sacred tree, reflections of Native Amer American spirituality. So when you protect and balance yourself, <clears throat> you're balancing your whole being. Your um, so Nihiwak or where, where the word Nihiwa comes from is the Cree, and the Cree is it means it comes from the root word Niwa, 
for. Okay, ni wo yak. So ni wo yak is the medicine wheel and how the four quadrants creates your whole being. And um, you are responsible for balancing your whole being. You can't get your parents to go balance your your whole being. You, it's up to you. Okay, it's up to you to uh, to to control your mindset, to think positive thoughts, to avoid negativity, to avoid um, self uh, self what do you call self self harm, self sabotage, like talking down about yourself. Okay, because you're feeding your trillions and trillions of cells those information, and it's it's not fair to them, right? So you got to change your mindset, keep it clear, okay? So storytelling, um, like I said when I um, started, I think my volume wasn't on. I'm sorry. Um, elders told me I, out of respect to my elders, I'm not filming the smudging with the prayer um, just because we're filming and um, I respect my elders and I respect their teachings so um, I'm not doing that with showing the smudges okay <clears throat> okay there's um, the sacred teachings love respect humility honesty courage wisdom and and truth okay so um, we, as a as um for, as a indigenous person, we are a product of our environment, and our environment, sadly to say, is is being overcome with um, alcohol, drugs, gangs, um, lateral violence. <laughs> There's a lot of lateral lateral violence, and a lot of like. The crab bucket theory exists on reserves and a lot of people are hating on each other that are doing good for themselves, uh, stuff like that. Um, but you know what? As educators, we can raise awareness on these concepts and we can, and, and you know, our elders are, are, are like they're trying, but it seems like we're, we still have a division. And we got to break those barriers and uh, be more open-minded because, you know, there's like how many different denominations in the world, how many different religions, right? And, it, and in Canada, we have the freedom to do whatever we want. So embrace your spirituality, find that connection um, uh, and, and use it, utilize it. Don't just pray when you're having a bad day. Do it every day, okay? You have to make sure you feel, okay? So your emotions, when you suppress your emotions, you leave your anger inside and you don't, that's not healthy because you boil up and then one little thing will just set you off and you'll say something you uh, re will, regret, will regret later, okay? So your spiritual connection Find a higher power greater than yourself, okay? Um, I practice, uh, oh, anyway, physical is movement, okay? Your body needs movement. Your trillions and trillions of, of cells in your body that are working hard to keep you alive and um, to, uh, you know, you have to keep moving, okay? So they say 30 minutes of movement or at least try to uh, a day try to well we'll get into that anyway uh, mental is your thinking okay so remember you got to think positive you got to think healthy and we'll get into that okay so this if you want to see closer how it looks physical spiritual mental emotional okay and these teachings um we go represent the colors and that's like the 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 bro brotherhood of man Simon Kaito Hat says the white the black the Asian and then the indigenous okay <clears throat> so we really need to uh, encourage our native youth to create to seek wellness 
okay? They need to know how to tell somebody that they're feeling depressed, feeling sad, you know? Um, we, as educators, need to listen, okay? No, Dawinan gave us two ears and only one mouth, so we should listen twice as much as we speak. Sometimes that's the greatest thing that you can do uh, to help support someone who's going through a tough time. Uh, in a holistic approach to living one's life in a good way. So these four directions are interdependent okay, on each other. It's a cycle of life, right? So walk in balance. There's a source from Bill, Billy Rogers, uh, Native Wellness Healing Institute. He says, um, good choices and growing up healthy. Make your culture proud. Whether you're Cree, Dene, Sioux, Blackfoot, Ojibwe, Anishinaabe, whatever, okay? We're all indigenous, okay? Indigenous. So, <clears throat> walk in balance. And how to see a visual, to do a visual, like I made an empty blank one for my students, or my teachers. Uh, we never got to, into it yet because we... Our theme for March was March into wellness and then I gave all the teachers a copy of this whole unit um, to help their students uh, write down a wellness plan okay so the circle of life if you notice the medicine wheel corresponds with the circle of life creator wind fire rock water and then everything else is interrelated the four directions okay and then this this is the actual plan okay so i'm going to go over the actual plan i did this first time i did this was with my um SIIT group and then I did it with my alts and then I provided a copy to my teachers for this so it's basically a wellness plan just like a vision board where you write down your visions and your goals and we have to set smart specific realistic uh, timely goals right so anyway <clears throat> my wellness plan for my physical I'm running out of time if you can see, you can take a picture. 21st century learning. Take a picture. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Physical is your movement, okay? You need to eat properly. Um, many of the kids nowadays, you, grade sixers, you guys are eating poorly. You're eating too much processed foods, not drinking water. Water is so important. The very first thing you should do because your cells are mostly made up made out of water that you should replenish your cells in your body up to your, your body has about 60 percent water so drink water first thing in the morning i drink hot lemon water with himalayan salt every morning and it just kind of balances my, my magnesium and um it gives me a really good day and it wakes me up. oh i okay I'm back on. All right. It just told me that I had poor service. I'm on my mobile data. But um, anyway, exercise. Okay, so recommended. Get your heart rate up a bit. You know, do whatever. Like right now, I have a broken foot, so I'm limited. But I can do other things like dance and do yoga and body tapping and stuff like that. Um, drink lots and lots of water. Get fresh air. Fresh air is so important. In my house, I open my doors every day for five minutes just to circulate the air because the furnace gets dry, right? And and you're breathing in that, that dry air, which is not good for you, okay? Um, sunshine, vitamin D, natural vitamin D. Um, stay drug and alcohol free, okay? That's how I can help my physical... Um, my physical quadrant okay so now for uh oh i should have started spiritual anyway uh for your spiritual it's your connection okay so pray attend church forgive 
smudge, attend ceremonies, sun dance, feast, sweats, speak your language. Those are so important. Okay, mental, the way you think. Okay, if you're always thinking, oh, poor me, oh, complain this, complain that, nobody likes to hear it all the time. Try to be positive. Try to write down your complaints on a, a journal like I did. You know, my, my journal could be a, a, a book about lateral violence in the workplace or something like that. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't like to um, listen to gossip. And when I do, I, I acknowledge it. Okay. Because I feel that it's ruining our, our, our First Nations people. And I want, I don't want a part of it. I want to build them up. I want to help them. I want to encourage them, okay? Uh, meditate, okay? There's so many ways to meditate. The way I meditate and works that works for me is breathing exercises. Breathing exercises are so important. You need to get that oxygen into your body and um, release that negative. Find a mantra. Find something that will help you, like breathe in love, hold it breathe out hate or whatever you know so it could be like that uh find something that works for you okay counsel uh talk to a counselor friend um elder uh, el we need to utilize our elders okay they're there they're not going to be here very long and you know what they're like a whole collection of library uh they're like it's a whole library and they have more knowledge than any young person, any educator, um, when it comes to our traditional values. Okay. Uh, Bible, uh, positive affirmations. I do it all the time on my Facebook. I'm always looking for positive affirmations and sharing them because I feel <laughs> sometimes we're around a negative environment that the only way that I can get break out of my negativity is to be positive. Okay. Release anger in a healthy way. Help one another. I try to help as much as I can. Sometimes I give too much and I don't take, okay? So you need to balance. Give, take, just like in round dance, right? Give, take, give, take, okay? The last quadrant is emotional. You have to feel, okay? Cry. When you're sad, cry. You can't keep that bottled in, okay? Hug loved ones. Talk to an elder. Talk, listen, feel. Um, help with uh, phone helplines. Chats. They have chats now. Trained professionals. Okay. Uh, there's one uh, for youth. 1-800-668-6868. I have it memorized. Because I find that we need to create that balance. We need this vision a wellness plan for our youth our youth some of our youth on the reserve are so lost they don't have no dowing on they don't have an elder to look up to they all died or whatever you know and um i just and then if you want put your four um grandparents here okay your your mom's grandparents your mom's parents and then your dad's parents so you know who your four last names are okay so you won't go out with your cousin just kidding <laughs> okay but for real try to do that do a wellness plan uh, i encourage all parents to do that with their children uh since we have since we're locked in anyways you might as well start making these wellness plans uh use the medicine wheel i can share this information this whole unit uh, send me your email. You can send me your email and I'll send you the whole unit. Okay. I believe in sharing. I believe in um, collegiality and helping one another um, because, you know, a lot of people help me and <clears throat> I give back. Right. So please, please try your best to do uh, a wellness plan and like I said I will give you this information and we'll close because I think my my prayer wasn't was my did you guys hear my prayer anyone anyone okay 
Well, we'll do the prayer again because my I think my volume was off. So we'll just do it real gisco before I tune out. I know it's I know it's a little bit over, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we'll just do the Cree prayer again. So again, repeat after me. No tawi nan. Gisamanatu. We see nan mina. Ganema nan. Anuch. Gagi sagak. Nya nan. Ketwasim sak. Nape wak. Nape sisak. Esque wak. Esque sisak. Ekwa. Gakio. Gutakak. Asinawak. Uta. Aski. Hai hai. And you've just been indigenized. Thank you.